In just one month, a video shot in downtown Myrtle Beach and posted to YouTube got more than 1.2 million views. Now, the video shows an oddly dressed woman getting verbally and physically harassed by people on the streets. New at 11 News 13's AJ Janival spoke with the video's creator to find out what she hoped to accomplish. AJ. Yeah, Bob, the video's director, Ali Coates, told me earlier they never set out to create a social experiment like it became. The project was for an art show in Miami, and what they were looking to do was create a video resembling a moving painting. But what it became was this disturbing look at humanity. 27-year-old film director Ali Coates lives in Los Angeles but was able to stop by our studio and show me her video, American Reflex. She says she and Signe Pierce, the girl who's actually behind the mask, expected some attention, like cat calls, but were not prepared for what actually happened. 30 minutes later, she started getting water poured on her and people started getting physical. And probably by the 45 minute mark, this happened, mm -hmm. the assault. Even though the video was recently posted, it was shot two years ago. And Coates tells me she hasn't been back to Myrtle Beach since. And the place where she spent summers growing up now has a different feel. Right there is where, this is where the assault happened right yeah. here. As the video goes on, the crowd becomes larger and the comments become more abusive until some people even get physical. Coates tells me what's most surprising is no one trying to stop it. So this is where the mob surrounded her and, and nobody helped her up. One person came over and checked to see if she was alive, I guess, but didn't help her up or anything. With Pierce dressed in a very strange outfit, I asked Coates if they didn't expect to get this sort of attention. People will say that she looked strange that so she was asking for it or, or she was scantily clad so she was asking for it, but that's typical rape culture talk, you know, uh, that's, that's what rapists say to their victims. In fact, walking along Ocean Boulevard with Coates, we saw a few things that seemed just as out of the ordinary, if not stranger than Coates' mass character. She tells me she received some hostile and negative responses to her documentary, but for the most part, it's been positive. Tolerance is something that we really need in our society, and People shouldn't be attacked for the way that they look. If they're outside of the norm, they should be allowed to live how they want and, and look the way that they want. And I sent a link of the video to Myrtle Beach Police Spokesperson Lieutenant Joey Crosby to see what the protocol would be in this situation. Like this, he told me officers would evaluate the situation as they patrol and intervene before it got out of hand. However, it's a complicated situation because they cannot infringe upon anyone's freedom of speech. For a full look at the American Reflex video from the story, which was used from YouTube, you go to my story at WBTW.com. Live here in the studio, I'm AJ Janova for News 13.